An intriguing thriller and a new TV series with one of Hollywood's biggest stars is available for viewing this weekend. Here to review Nanny and Tulsa King are film critics Pam Powell and Chuck Kaplinski. Hello. Hey there. Okay, let's start with The Nanny. Is this a horror flick? You know, it's... In December? I know, it's kind of <laughs> crazy. They say it's a horror flick, but really it's more of a psychological thriller. And it is super smart. One of my favorite thrillers of the year. I'm going to call it a thriller. It stars Anna Diop as a young woman from Senegal. And she comes to the United States, specifically to New York City in the Upper East Side, leaving her youngster behind to be raised by a cousin. Um, she's going to be working for someone on the Upper East Side, lots of money, and she's going to be a nanny for this cute little girl named Rose. Um, when she starts working for the family, she thinks things are going to be one way, and in actuality, they become a little different way. Money is an issue. And as time goes on, um, she meets and falls in love with a, a young man who also has a child. Um, his mother is played by none other than Leslie Uggams. I don't need to say any more about that because she is incredible. This film is just rich. It's complex. It's deep. There's so much symbolism in this film as you watch it and you understand where she is and being an immigrant in the in the country and you also start to see these dreams that she has and you understand how the blurred lines of reality and the supernatural and her culture all blend together to help her move forward with her life. It is very unexpected. It's a, as Chuck and I were talking about on our podcast, it's a slow burn, but man, does it pull you in and it pulls you under. And the ending is just incredible. Ooh. Even just watching that trailer, I like could not peel my eyes off of yeah. it. I was like, yeah. wow. And you interviewed her. I did. I had a wonderful interview mm -hmm. with her and uh, you guys, I believe, aired it a little while mm -hmm. ago. Okay. I'm going to tag that for everybody because she just gives such insight. She's actually from Senegal and she related to this character because she saw a lot of her mother in the character that she was portraying and the symbolism and the culture within as well. Okay, this opens tomorrow on Amazon. Correct. All right, very good. Okay, now this one we're, we're heading to the small screen. Head to the small screen because, you know, it's feast or famine <laughs> this time uh, as far as movies are concerned. We're going to have too much to talk about next week. This week we're going to talk about a TV show, Tulsa King with Sylvester Stallone. This comes from the folks who have given you Yellowstones. So if you like that, more than likely you're going to get a kick out of this. He plays Dwight Manfredi. He's been in prison for 25 years. He took the rap. I took the rap, man. For one of the guys. <laughs> nice. And he's out after 25 years and he wants something in return. He's Can like, you do the what, whole thing that way? What's in it for me? <laughs> what are you saying? Well, here's what's in it for you, Sly. <laughs> he gets to go to Tulsa. The family in New York's got nothing for him. They say, guess what? You get to go to Tulsa and set up operations there. Well, he views this as a death sentence because, you know, out in Tulsa, they ain't got no good pasta, they ain't got no good gravy, they ain't got nothing. And they don't have much smarts either, which allows him to set up a empire very, very quickly. And there we see his driver. Dana Delaney pops up as well as a person who owns a ranch. And there you see uh, Garrett Hedlund as well as a bartender who he becomes friends with. He sets up things very quick. What the fun thing about the film is that the character, of course, has been gone for 25 years. So the things that have happened that he doesn't understand, like, you know, he doesn't understand, you know, gender pronouns. He doesn't understand what a cell phone is. Yeah. At one point, oh, wow. he actually says, you know, I wish they had something where you could look something up and find it. <laughs> and the guy says, are you kidding me? Are you oh, kidding me, really? Word. So this whole fish out of water thing is really funny, and Stallone's having a real good time. It's 10 episodes for the season. Their first five are out, so you can catch up real quick. They're about 35, 40 minutes a piece. Really a lot of fun. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you like Stallone, you're going to like this. And I'm having a good time with it. Okay, that's Italian on, Stallion. That's, exactly. That's on, uh, I'm impressed you know that. That's on Paramount. I she didn't know he we... was called Sly. I was like, who's Aww. Sly Stallone? And then I had to look up his nicknames, and I found these. Oh, there, there, there you go. There you go. Okay, there you go. I'm interested. I'm going to have to tune in tomorrow to the morning show because you're talking Avatar 2. Going to see it at 5 o'clock here, and the hype, of course, is huge. I'm going to be up front with you. I don't want to see this movie. <gasps> Three hours. How did yeah. you get the short Three hours sticks and then 50. and not... Because not, I yeah. feel compelled that it, we need to do this, so I'm going to take one for the <laughs> Holy team. Holy cow. And, uh, yeah, you can turn it in tomorrow morning, Friday, uh, <laughs> okay. the morning show. You, I'll review it then. <laughs> Well, you'll be able to talk to someone at 9 p.m. tonight after your 5 o'clock exactly. show. Yeah, I'm right. calling you as I walk. Oh, okay. Well, be sure to 
Tune in tomorrow for the review on Avatar 2, but for more reviews and witty banter, you can always check out the Real Talk with Chuck and Pam YouTube channel, website, Facebook page. They have been having a lot of fun opening up some Amazon boxes. I on know, their I've Facebook been watching. Page, so you have to tune in for that. But we'll have all those links at CI Living.